Hello everyone. This is a brief introduction of the paper entitled Was or Error Red but Better Blue? Leveraging word embedding as intermediate in multitask end-to-end -end speech translation. I'm Shinpo Chang, and this is the joint work with Ziwei Song, Alexander Liu, and Hong Yi Li. We are from National Taiwan University. Speech translation, which is abbreviated as ST in this presentation, aims to map the speech in the source language to the text in the target language. And there are various approaches to achieve this goal. One of the approaches is multitask learning, which learns the ST model with an additional source language decoder, or we can set it as a speech recognition module. And we usually use word error rate to measure the recognition quality and blue score to measure the translation quality. However, word error rate do not necessarily correlate to the blue score. ST is a translation task. We wonder if there is another feature is more important than the recognition quality. Maybe the semantic information will be the one to help on the final translation quality. For example, a Guangzhou sentence is, the food in Taiwan is really tasty. Then we have two recognition cases in different war error rate. The first is a low war error rate recognition result. The food in Taiwan is really tasty. The second is a high war error rate recognition result. The food, Taiwan, tasty. It is obvious that the high word error rate case is more semantically correct to the ground truth. So, in this work, we explore whether semantic information is more suitable to apply in a multitask model. Considering a normal recognition decoding process, a hidden state from the source language decoder will be multiplied by a linear metric and the softmax function is applied to obtain a word probability distribution. The optimization process aims to make this distribution close to the ground truth. Our idea is to make the hidden state closer to the ground truth pretend word embedding. Because word embeddings have shown some good features, such as the context information, semantic, or syntactic relations in recent NLP research. We use it as a training target. It may make less semantic error. Furthermore, word embeddings are trained for monolingual text. So we don't need the paired speech data. And we can train the word embedding from additional textual data. And here is the proposed method. We fix a set of pre-trained word embeddings. And these word embeddings will not be updated during training. We firstly compute the cosine similarity between a hidden state and the pretrained word embeddings. And we obtain a similarity distribution, which is bounded between negative one to positive one. Softmax function is applied sequentially. Finally, we optimize the cross entropy loss between the ground truth and the probability distribution from the softmax function. After finishing the training process, the hidden state would be similar to the corresponding pretrained word embedding. Here we introduce the structure of the multitask ST model. We use the triangle structure proposed previously. The encoder firstly concerns a speech signal and output a sequence of hidden state. And the source language decoder will attend on the blue hidden state for source language decoding. A recognition loss can be computed. And the target language decoder will attend on the blue and green hidden state for final translation decoding. The translation loss can also be computed. Finally, the objective function is the summation of the recognition and translation loss. And we name it as the multitask loss. And in our proposed method, we just simply replace the recognition loss to the cosine softmax loss. The following is our experiment. We use feature Spanish corpus for our experiment. The source language is Spanish, 
and the target language is English. We firstly verify if our proposed method can map speech signal to the pretend word embedding. We use the predicted word embedding, which is from the source language decoder, to retrieve the corresponding pretend word embedding using consent similarity. As we can see, the consent softmax method achieved higher precision than the original multitask loss. It indicates that it is possible to predict word embeddings from speech. And this is the measurement of translation quality. We use blue score as a metric. Single text results set a baseline of the table. And multi-text model makes a little improvement from the baseline. Then, the consent softmax method reached the best performance in the table, which indicates the proposed method helps on the translation quality. We further observe the word error rate of the source language decoder. The table shows the blue score of the multitask ST and consent softmax method. The scores are the same as the previous slide. The orange table shows their word error rate. As we can see, Low word error rates do not guarantee a better translation quality. This result shows that leveraging word embedding as intermediate helps more than purely decode the transcription. More details can be found in the paper. Thanks for your listening.